Greetings, Suburbanites! Welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. Last time, we cleared chapter 15 with the help of a friend, and now, uh, I got a lot of organizing to do. <laughs> so, I need to think of what I need to do. Uh, wait, Garrick doesn't need an angelic rope, he needs a speed ring. Speed ring. Speed ring. Ah, oh, there we go. He's disgusting again. Yay. Uh, we need the Elysian Whip. Rochelle needs Metis' Tome. Give this to a unit you like. Uh, like we mentioned, it boosts all the growth rates of whatever unit you give it to by 5%. So you can take a really great unit, make them more overpowered with it, or take a below average unit and make them good. I like that sort of thing. Uh, and just because, right, Mulder still has it. Because it gives massive EXPs. She's getting the warp staff. Trade. Mulder gets the hobbling guard. All of my bias right now. Uh, Josh gets the silver sword. Garrick needs the Zambato. And home. Bone gets the uh, sham shear, so he can do shit in the next map. You need another staff, so there you go. Fortunately for her, the or staff starts at C rank. She only comes with a D rank. Do the promoting. Uh. Renick has the spear. Speaking of Renick. Ooh, right Swift Soul. I need to give that to Gilliam. Yeah! Look at this guy. This guy's so good. Um... need some other weapon though. I have a steel lance? I do. It's his now. Well, Cause why not? There you go. Actually, now that I think about it, I have a bunch of uh, Volunaires I need to give to people. He gets one. You have one. Where's Josh? Uh, you get one. Ross needs a hand axe, so I can put the dragon axe away, because there aren't any... Uh, or aren't any dragons in this next map. Uh, Carmax would be fine, I think. Might need enough for Steel Lance. Uh, we can go here then. Buy some Steel Lances here. I'll enter it with Soleil. Because, because silver card OP. Look at how OP the silver card is. Look at all this shit I'm getting for free. 
Give me my money. There's no javelins. Makes me kind of sad. I'll, I'll, I'm just buying everything I can. And there's a shop. Also with Soleil. Oh, come on, you could buy flex tomes in the chapter when you were in chapter 5, but they won't let you do it on the map. Not like I have a use for it, I'm just pointing it out. I'll buy one, I'll buy two of those. I think my convoy is like full. Or like bursting, I should say. Let's go back to Johanna Hall and I'll actually check it out. Yeah, it's at 86. <laughs> uh. Matters not. There you go. Now that I think about it, I should be using this. Should I? Uh, I think I'll just give him the Sword Reaper instead. Because the Battle Axe is still Battle Axe is still a little weighty on Rossi when he has 11 con and 15 speed. I think that's not the best idea. Uh, steel Sword. He's almost ready to wield the Adolma. Almost, but not quite. I'm surprised I had not thought of this idea sooner. Oh well. There weren't any ranged weapons in that chapter, that's the only thing that impresses me. I would need to go to... Uh, Tyzel. Not Tyzel. The fuck, dude? Where do I, where do I go buy javelins then? Oh, I guess Port Kiris. Right, I can go here now. <laughs> if you explore these places, I'll see if there are any javelins. There are. Buying them, they are only two hundred dollars. Panax, oh, only for one fifty. I'll buy two of those. I love this thing. Why have I not used it this much before? Um. Alright then. Okay, so Kyle needs a javelin. Right, I need to manage my items, not just go back to shopping. I'll sell all the wanted to move to the stuff that, like, has broken down and shit. Oh, no. I think what I should do is just look through everything that's, like, broken down and has no use to me anymore. Um... And then just sell all those. Like... Like these! I want to sell the torch. That is the question. There is one more Fog of War uh, chapter in this game, so I think I'll hold on to it for now.
It's not gonna be that. I doubt I'll use it anyway, but... Uh, we've wasted enough time on this shit. Let's just go back to Renee Castle. The capital of Renee. After the twins' absence, seeing their home ruined by war brings them terrible grief. Orson, a former knight of Renee, had been assigned to guard Castle Renee. However, he switched allegiances, betraying his oaths of loyalty to his homeland. The fray marks his homecoming by vowing to see Renee heal. Chapter 16, Ruled by Madness. I hate this map. Just, this is like the fifth time I've tried to record this map. It does not like me, apparently. Brother, what has happened to our home? What's happened to Castle Rene? How did it come to be so ruined, so desolate? Spies report that the castle is being held by the traitor Orson. Orson. In retrospect, I realize he's been acting odd for a while now. He seemed so... dispirited. His wife passed away some six months back. The loss may have been too much for his mind to bear. His love and devotion for his wife were well known amongst the knights. Now he sits alone in the king's former bedchamber. He makes no effort to govern. No one is allowed to enter the chamber, then he takes no meals. What could he possibly be doing? I do not know. The spies had no insight into his behavior. It has nothing to deal with the dark creatures and bandits roaming the land. Reports say all of Rene is engulfed in chaos. Region after region is revolting and Orson's reign is already crumbling. Left alone it may very well collapse under the weight of its own neglect. We cannot allow the situation to reach that point. We're going home, Erika. We're going to the castle. I hear you, Ephraim. Um, Ephraim? What is it, Mur? I will fight with you. Now that Selena has returned my Dragonstone to me, I'll do what I can until its power runs out. No, you won't! Benched so fucking hard! Let's take back your home. Are you sure about this? For the two of you? I simply want to help. Alright, I understand, but you must make me a promise. You're never to stray from our sides, got that? Of course. This will be fine, though, because she's never leaving the bench. Now, when I say that... I do not say it in the fact that she is a bad unit. I will, I will make note of that right away, but I'll explain what I mean later. Huh? Who do you think you are? These are champs of Orson, steward of Renee. There's no place here for a street urchin like you, boy. You fool! This is Prince Lion. You fucking dead do not recognize this man. He's like kind of a big deal. What? This wealth is... I break your forgiveness. It's alright. I'm not the sort of person ever's holding esteem. My aunt's a cool villain. Also, the that bishop that is with him, it's implied to be Riev. It's never shown in this chapter, but I'm pretty sure it is Riev. Who in the world is that? A creepy looking man. I think they're talking about Riev right now, actually. Shh! He can hear you! Boy, I talk about creepy that Orson's the one who chills my hide. What do you think he's doing back there? I've heard lots of bizarre rumors from the master of the mess hall. Also, by the way, didn't we kill you already? You're, yeah, you're O'Neal. I thought I killed you at the start of the game. What are you doing back here? Oh, well. You think he needs help? Could he be dangerous? I I'm serious about this, by the way. I don't think his face fright has changed at all from O'Neal's. The, like, tough beard that he has might be a shade lighter. Whatever that, I don't think it's, a, it's not different at all. I don't care, I'm here for the money. As long as I get paid, I'm happy. But on the subject of rumors, have you heard the stories of the secret treasure? Mm. There's supposed to be some fabulous wealth hidden in Castle Rene. I tell you, if I find it, I'm gone. I wish I knew what any of it was. I haven't made it that far in any of the failed attempts. Anyway... What is it, Monica? You seem so happy today. Of course I know what today is. I'd never forget your birthday. I have a pleasant present for you, dear. I think you'll like it. Orson. Do you still recognize me, Orson? Are you entirely lost in this world? 
Yes, it's me, Prince Lion. I'm the one to whom you're indebted for resurrecting your beloved wife. Get out. This is Monica in my place. I will not have our home disturbed by anyone. I did as you asked. I betrayed Renee. My promise has been kept. Yes, and I'm very grateful to you. I came by today to offer you a piece of advice, nothing more. A frame is coming, Orson. He's on his way here to steal the happiness you two share. Prince of Frame. That's right, Orson, and he's angry. I don't think he'll forgive you for betraying Renee. You've done so much to free your wife from the grave, it's a shame she'll die with you. No! That can't happen. That's all I have to say to you. What you do now is up to you. Monica? I'm sorry, I have something I must do. Please wait for me here. Oh, darling, don't look so sad. I'll be back soon, and then I'll never leave. Also, I... Oh, my God, what the fuck is up with my dog? Ugh. You're gonna be so annoying. Give me a sec. My dad came home unexpectedly, and I dropped the major F-bomb, thinking he wasn't here. Oh, well. Uh, what was I gonna mention before I got interrupted? Oh yeah, uh, I didn't point this out in Chapter 8 because I frankly didn't notice it at the time. But, uh, there's something different with Orson's eyes compared to how they looked in FB... Not FB, a different game, fuck. In Chapter 5X. Y you noticed it, right? The, like, color in it is faded and has, like, soulless sort of feeling. No. I, I only noticed it recently. But, I, I just always thought they were like that. My, my bad. I must do this to protect our happiness. You understand that, don't you? Alright then, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, I like Orson as a villain. He's one of the more interesting ones that FE8 has. That's the thing about FE8. It does really has some interesting characters as villains in it. Like, well, we already met one. There's Kallik, there's Orson, there's Riev, Lion himself. Uh, is a pretty decent villain as well. Anyway, uh, 12 units! Right, dropping Tephys and bringing Seth. I have no choice but to bring Seth because Merc will fucking castrate me if I don't do it. I... I have no other options here. I think it'll be worth it though. Probably. Seth, Seth can just win the game on his own. Even though I've had him get killed before! So I have no faith in his quote-unquote invincibility. Uh. So here's chapter 16. Uh, and you can come up here. There are chests to grab, and Larashev will stay like right here, so she can warp dudes into here. Uh. A thief will spawn here, so you want to leave this chest alone so that he goes for it, so that he goes for this chest, because if it's open, he'll go for these ones over here. And there's all of this guy, the world is basically right here. You don't want to mess with them. Because a couple of druids, uh... They all suck. By uh, that, I mean, I hate them. And there are some sword masters. By definition, I hate them. Because they're, oh, they're, <laughs> there's no balance. This guy is an asshole because he has a berserk staff. Uh, there are more druids over here. And sage reinforcements will spawn here once you basically aggro these guys. Both of them are assholes. I hate both of them. Um, you would start over here if you're playing Eureka mode. But since I'm playing Ephra mode, you start here. Which might lead to why I fail so many times. Oh well. I don't know. I do what I want. Um, Orson is on the throne. It's a C's map. This guy has a physics staff, and this guy drops one. Here's Orson, he has a rune sword and a silver lance, and he's not a bad boss, all things considered. Paladins, you know, they're fairly balanced. 
The Rune Sword is one of the free magic swords in the game. It's imbued with dark magic. Nosferatu magic, specifically. So damage he deals with it will uh, restore him for just as much. Uh, but it can't crit at all. Yeah, but if he switches to Silverlands, then he can crit. That's weird. The Rune Sword doesn't have any... A base crit on its own, but it just prevents critical hits from happening altogether. It's kind of weird, all things considered, but oh well. Um, if you're playing Eureka mode, his loadout would be different. He would have a silver sword and a spear, I believe. I don't wish to be quoted on that, for I'm not entirely certain. Anyway. Uh, Cav reinforcements will show up here after a few turns, and then uh, the people spawn here, and then go after the stuff like I mentioned. These guys do not move unless you attack them, but if you attack any of them, then all of these guys in the throne room start ch will start chasing you down. And this warrior drops a hero crest, which I'm going to give to Garrick. So, I guess let's start. So, a uh, quick note here, uh, I, after finishing recording this part, uh, I noticed that I failed to go over Murr at all. Oops. Uh, I don't know why, because I made a point of saying that I wasn't going to use her. Not because she's bad, but because she is disgustingly broken. I'm not kidding you. Those are all ba bonuses she gets from the Dragon Stone, which has 50 uses and is effective against monsters. Because, I don't know. All, all those bonuses to her ba hey, stats weren't good enough. We need to make it effective against everything you'll be fighting in Endgame, too. It only has 50 uses, but you'll probably use the hammer and staff on it a few times, let's be honest. Uh, but the Dragon Stone alone doesn't make her broken. It's her growths as well. 130 HP, 90 strength, 85 skill, 65 speed, 30 luck, 150 defense, and 30 res. It's like, game, set, match. Easy mode, switch, turned on. Not using. I'm done. Oh, Cormag! Yay! Javelin toss. Should have had his javelin equipped. Oh well. I can fix that. Or I could have just warped him there because that knight doesn't move. Oh well. So that's why I'm using a warp staff. It gives mad experience. Like 80 something. Level 12. HP, speed, luck, resistance. Oh no. You're supposed to get magics. Dang it, Larashal. Thankfully for me, her uh, staff rank can't increase above A. Because a non promoted unit's cap at A rank for whatever weapons they can use. Here's my little team. Aha, I knew you would attack Cormag, you stupid man. Unfortunately. Oh! Couldn't dodge. Victory goes to Cormag. Winner. Level 19. I said winner. I don't think that means what I think it means anymore. I don't expect Cormag to double Myrmidons. Especially Myrmidons with speed. 
Ow. Well, this guy's dead though, because he's a soldier and Moot has... Just has magic. By proxy of having magic, he automatically is a winner. No, Kyle, we can't kill the scrub. Oh no. Um, that guy just moves. I wonder if I can just physic him from this range, and it will level up the Rashal. That was when we find out. Not quite. You know what? That is okay. So I guess if I just use... Ah, I guess that knight has defense. Am I just overestimating this game at this point? I am. Level 2, Kyle. HP, strength, skill. This Kyle is so good! May have wanted to give him the speed wings, though. Be cute. I'll just have Ross sit here. I guess... Yay! Experience for Garrick! Real raw experience power! Look at him go with that 15 speed of his. He's actually doing things again. He's the best. Around. No one's <laughs> uh, I'm not moving Seth because uh, that fighter will kill himself on him. Because that's what the AI is programmed to do. Damn it, Garrick! You had one job, and that was to not get hit by an axe. That guy's still heading towards wherever Kyle is. Like, I'll get him eventually. I think I'm better off just. Having Colm bait out the Berserk Staff Priest. Level 13. HP, skill, speed, luck, resistance. Get magic, Larasha! What on earth? What's happening? You have a 55 in it now. Get some points of magic. I'm not even aware anymore. Vanguard. Yeah, I knew this would happen. Ooh, she dodged. Thank you, Luke. If she had Thunder, she would have killed this dude. Actually, if she were leveling up properly, she would have killed that dude because she should have more magic than this point. No. Oh, this is a stalemate. Yeah, she would have killed this dude. Sweet dodge, bro. Assist, I guess, technically. I should be somewhat accurate in this. Ooh, chest key. It, that's a, a supply convoy, so I can sell it. Barrier comb. So that dude of the Berserk Staff does not completely destroy him. 
Arasho can't level up off of it. What? I'm gonna wait for the thief to show up before I get that chest, and then kill him. I'm gonna take this map at my own pace. Because most of the times I failed are because uh, I attacked that group. I attacked the Merc squad in the middle of the map there, and it just aggroed the world. Motherfucking Dio Brando just showed up out of nowhere, stopped time, and drained all of my blood. It was not as glorious as it sounds, let me tell you. Okay, that guy's gotta die yesterday. Make it so I can do this. Oh, I totally can! You are so dead, priest! Prepare to die! Level 14. Speed luck defense resistance. What? This this is a statistical anomaly right now. She should not have eight magic at level 14. Rochelle, you're supposed to be cool. I can't call and be cool. Oh, I can totally do that. I'm doing that. I also need to kill this dude. I, I don't think he moves at all, but I just need to kill him. Rochelle can barrier staff anyone that isn't Colm right now. I ain't got a door key. I needed that. Well, if I guess Colm has no choice to go up and around to deal with those guys. I'll just sit Josh on those woods. He'll be fine. For when the cab reinforcements show up. I actually want Garrick to get some of that experience though. Because a great knight shows up amongst those guys as well. Uh I need to be careful but because I don't want Mulder to get S S rank and stabs. You can take one lightning tome if dang his luck isn't that bad. It's eight, but his attack is only ten, so even if it crits, it'll just be twenty-one damage. Okay, it's fine then. It's fine. Having Comb beat up on mages because. Yeah, he's the best. And I have all the faith in him, I really don't. Oh no, the fighters are moving. Those guys are moving. Tell me I didn't screw up. I was like, that 2% goes off, my day is ruined. Okay, good. There's all the calves, and there's the feet. Can you kill this guy this time, please? Thank you, Colm. 
It's like part of your job description. He needs a secret book that I don't think I get any more of. You up there. Rochelle gets to level 15. Still won't get magic. HP magic luck. Okay, good. I think La Rochelle may naturally cap her luck stat. It would make sense. It's her highest growth right now at an artificial 70. I'm... That's actually kind of impressive. Can I heal him in there? I could, okay, good. Cormag must feed! He must feed extra hard now, because he missed. I'm try not to use men with as little weapon experience as possible. I'm still trying to heal and save Corm Cormag's life. Just have Garrick sit on the woods, you will be fine. Maybe I send Seth back. Back to him. This is reinforcement. So the Hunter's AI is programmed to go after this chest because I haven't opened it yet. I know that because it's like I've attempted this map for many times before. Who hasn't moved? Oh, Ross. I'll just have him sit there. I know I'm pretty sure that knife does not move. Oh. Cormac, you missed 270 freeze. In a row, consecutively. But you still killed him. So I guess... I can't hate you forever. Oh god, the great knight is moving towards Josh. Aha! the man. You cannot kill Garrick. But Garrick can kill you! Oh, next level. What is it? 17. HP skill res. Uh, 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 um, uh, I don't know how to feel about this, Garrick. Capped strength in the Eureka mode portion of this playthrough. Before you're even level 20. And here you are not doing that. It makes me sad. These guys are all gonna die because Joshua's too OP. It's like Silver Sword and a Swordmaster is not broken or anything. God, all those shamans are moving for him. Oh, damn it, Cormag. That's supposed to miss. Oh, God, the monks are moving towards him. Thankfully, Ross can smash puny monks. Someone's ready to use Garm. <laughs> uh, that will be beautiful. Man, that guy is on a mission. Why attack someone you can't damage? Oh, this guy is smart. He's got a javelin he knows, and he's gonna throw it at Josh because he doesn't want to die. I know for a fact that dude is heading for these chests because that's what happened last time, even though his movement doesn't necessarily bring about that uh, level of certainty. Maybe I should have physicked Ross first. Oh well. Got a door key. Uh, I'm gonna keep it this time. I 
and physic pile though. And loot, so let's do these. Let's do these two things. I'm fine with wasting quote unquote this physics staff because I'm gonna get one in this chapter. Yeah, Garrick, you go. Alright, so this guy has Luna. So he's got a crit rate. That's a 63 hit. Oh my guys. Avoid. He has a number of avoid. I don't trust the number. Are you fucking with me? Cormac, you missed an 80. You missed an 84, Kornog! Why? Okay, I need to move Seth up here. Damn my indecisiveness! Yes! Yeah, was probably expected. Ouch! Mortar's gonna get double teamed. Now that other guy's gonna show up. Oh, but all the weapon experience, though. That just means the. Mo Ugh. This just means the S rank and Anima match comes sooner. Or maybe he doesn't. Because Mortar couldn't kill him. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's just gonna. He's just giving that kill to. He's just killing that. Giving that kill to Cormag. He's being a bro. I understand your motives, Mulder. You're a team player, obviously. Can we hurry this up? Oh no. I think Holmes' res is still boosted slightly from... Barrier staff. Still hurt a bit. Aha! His res was not boosted by the barrier staff. I like that mattered, huh? Oh god, the flux dude. The flux dude tome is coming. The flux dude tome. Uh, don't think I didn't notice that. I said that. So can you kill this dude at home? Home? No, you can't. So I'm gonna have to let him move up. Alright then. I can do this. I can do this too. So let it happen! Cormag is now level 20! HP skill! Good! Stat he desperately needs! I should be a little more beat up by the fact that Motor missed an 87, shouldn't I? Well, this just comes faster. Right. Now I need to give him an elixir. There we go. The one use elixir will be fine for this purpose. Let's hold on to the shine tome for now, because we don't have much of a use for it. Um, Rasha will get another level up in this and not get magic again, despite the fact that I gave her a fucking magic. Level up! Level 16! HP speed luck. I knew it. I knew that would happen. What? What is going on here? Door is open now. Home, kill this dude. Get 
silencer skill. There we go. Uh, silencer skill is half of your crit rate, and it will instantly kill an enemy. And when it does, or when it activates, you gain 1.8 times normal experience for the kill. It's... that's a little weird, all things considered, but that's just how it works. Roll with it. Because Joshua kills the Great Knight. They're bad. Level 3. HP, Strength, Skill, Speed. Oh my god, this Joshua is so good! Look at all of this! You should not have all of that! I love that he has all of that, though. So what am I doing with them? I should be moving them downward towards where Mulder is. Or up to where Mulder is. Aha! We have you trapped now, silly man. Oh, you can kill him! Do it, Kyle! Of course not! Why would I have expected any different? Uh. Oh well. Crush him, loot. Why would I want anything to work right? Uh. That's a stupid way of thinking. Just heal Ross. Okay, so Mulder must use your elixir. Let's regain all your health. Cormag, you must use this. Uh, Wyvern Riders can become Wyvern Lords. Wyvern Mountain Knights with superior skill, they equip swords and lances. Or Wyvern Knight, uh, which is what Valter was. A Wyvern Rider who can pierce enemy defenses. I'm doing this. Can't stop me, I already did it! I just like its animation, okay? It's a pretty decent animation. Level 1 Wyvern Knight, 3 HP, 1 Strength, 2 Skill, 3 Speed, 1 Res. Look at him now, he's the best! I just need, I just need to turn off his animations for the rest of the game so that the game doesn't freeze! Or save scum so that that never happens. That would be wrong. Improving once again, and I'm doing this on an emulator. Could have killed him, Josh, outright. I mean, you could have done that, but you didn't. So I don't know. Um. Now I don't know what to do. So now I just open the door randomly. Okay, well then, um... You're dead. Bang. That was worth it. And for those of you wondering, I already know what it is inside this chest. It is a to it is a toy for Ross here. The toy is what is known as a tomahawk. It'll be very, very fun. Uh, but I will get it in the next part. See you all then. Goodbye, everybody.